Many Excel worksheets contain date entries, and certainly some of them also contain time entries, as we see in this particular worksheet called Date Time. In columns B and C, we see birth dates and hire dates displayed in a style that's quite common in the United States, the month, day, year style. Column I shows sales dates in a different kind of display where we see the actual month being indicated with a three-letter abbreviation. That might be a preferred choice if you get data from other countries and there's that momentary doubt as to whether this data here, for example, might be, is that March 6th or is it June 3rd? So here and there, you want to make some choices. If the data is in a column where there are no other selections, we might as well select the entire column. Column C might work just fine for you, but if we want to change the format, we could right-click column C and go to Format Cells. That's one of a few ways we can get to this dialog box, which gives us opportunities for changing the display of dates. On the Number tab, the category Date has quite a few built-in date formats. And here and there, you'll decide which one works best for you. Some of them, like this one here, do show leading zeros for months and days. If that's something you want, you can certainly make that choice. You might want to show the entire month spelled out along with a day and the year this way and so on. So you've got quite a few choices here. You could also make a modification here if you want to see the entire year. How about a choice here that shows a four-digit year instead of simply a two-digit year? So as we make the change here, all the year entries in column C are now going to have the entire four-digit year. And here and there, that will make sense, adds an additional clarity. You can change these formats quickly and easily. Keep in mind, you're not changing the content at all. And behind the scenes, Excel is storing this data numerically. You also have the option of creating your own formats. And I would not necessarily suggest you don't do that, but do be aware that it's likely to be faster if you use the standard built-in formats. The format in column I here for sales date, you may want this, but you also might want to show day of the week as well. And if we were to right-click column I and go right into format cells again, we could begin by going to the date format here and choosing the one that we already see, in other words, this choice right here, and from that point, then jumping over into a category called custom. And when we do this, uh, we'll see some other symbols out here. We'll ignore those for the moment. Let's just simply focus on the display that says D-MMM-YY. At first, you wouldn't necessarily know what that means. D simply means display the number of the day of the month. MMM means display a three-letter abbreviation of the month and then a two-digit year. So if you'd like to show day of the week, maybe at the beginning of here, you'll put in three Ds as an abbreviation or four Ds to spell it out. And you might or might not want to put a comma after that and a space. So four Ds will spell out day of the week, three Ds will abbreviate it. If you wanted the month spelled out, you'd put in four Ms. So you could experiment with this a little bit to get just the format you want. Click OK and you'll see the display. We'll have to readjust the column width by double-clicking its right border, and now we see the display this way. It certainly takes up a lot more space, which may or may not be desirable, but you can certainly make adjustments there. So the idea is, if you're in a hurry, use one of the standard built-in formats, whichever one works best for you, but if you want additional features here, then as you go into format cells, consider going into the custom category and making changes to the existing layout by altering the D's and the M's and the Y's. Excel also handles time dates. And the big issue here usually is, do you want to use the so-called 24-hour style as we're seeing in the data here? Or would you prefer to use the AM, PM style? And if it's the AM, PM style you might want to use here, and consider the fact that after selecting these cells, or possibly the columns, we could do a right click and then choosing format cells again, this time focusing on the time category. Consider usually it's the second or the third option. The second option uses the 24 hour style, 13 colon 30 
implies you'll be using uh, the 24 hour style. And of course this one with the PM option will show us AM PM in the display. And although you can customize time displays, uh, once again, I would probably say shy away from that. The standard built-in features do work best. They're easy to get to, and they pose fewer problems down the road for others using the software. So either changing the display of times, or as we saw previously with dates, it's pretty easy to get into in Excel, and it's pretty widely available to make quite a few different changes to accommodate your needs.